Hey guys, I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead APD Expert Plumber. Today, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install a bidet toilet seat. We've already pulled the toilet seat off of this toilet, and what we're gonna be installing is the American Standard Spalette. And I'll tell you what, I really love this toilet seat. The reason being, I love, I love the remote control. I'm a guy, come on. How many toilet seats have you ever had in your life that have a remote control with it? Like I said, I've already removed the other seat. Everything's cleaned up and ready to go. I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna start putting it on just to show you how easy it is. Now, one of the things I wanna cover, you wanna make sure either you have an electrical outlet behind the toilet that you're wanting to install but a bidet toilet seat on, or you've got an electrical outlet near enough that you can run a short extension cord over to it. We've actually not got one behind this toilet, but we've got one right on the wall on the other side of the bathroom, on the other side of the pedestal lab. So we're gonna be able to drop a cord down, run it across behind it, and make the plug-in actually down behind the toilet. Most people walking in will not even know because where I've got the box set right now, normally there's a little piece of decorative furniture there. Everything will be around behind it, so it'll actually look good. The things you're gonna need for this job, you're gonna need a crescent wrench, maybe a pair of china locks, you're gonna need a screwdriver. So I, of course, have my 11 and one and I also have my china lock bag of tools because it's got everything in there that I need. And me, I always start out with my Leatherman Crunch. So I'm gonna open this thing up, start pulling everything out, and we're gonna get started right now. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Okay, so first things we're gonna do, get rid of the direction. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the mounting bushings. And this is something I learned a long time ago. If you get them wet, and it's not gonna get them really wet, but it's just gonna dampen the surface enough to help it slide. So after you get them wet, stick the screws in there, turn them just a little bit because you want them to catch the threads on the bottom, line them up, and press them in. And really that's all you're gonna do. And you'll be able to see it better on this other side. And really that's it, they go right there. So now that they're in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the screws back out. And line up the mounting hardware. Now I know on this toilet, it's gonna set right about there. And if you're not sure, you can always start by positioning yours right in the middle. And then after you're done, make sure that the seat will go up and down. You want the seat to go up, but you don't want it to catch that toilet and not be able to stay up by itself. That way, if you're in here having to take a leak, it'll actually stay up. Ladies, you may want to push back all the way so the seat will never stay up all the time. got the bracket in place. Now, if you look at the toilet seat, it's got a button over here that moves these two brackets. And when these brackets move, that's what unlock it from the bracket that is in place. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set it down, line it up, push it back. And as you can see, now it's in position. Now we check it, the lid stays up and the seat stays up. So we know that we've got it in a good position. So. I'm gonna slide this back off just to show you how we're gonna make the water connections and then we'll slide it right back in position. You wanna make sure that you put the washer in so when you hook up to the water line at the bottom of the toilet to the fill valve, it actually has this washer that way you don't end up with a leak. And this will literally go where your old flex line 
or copper line goes up into the toilet, into the fill valve, you're going to disconnect that, put this washer in, put this piece in. That way there's always water feeding your toilet seat. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and hook up the water line. What we're going to do is slide the water line in. We're going to take the clip, slide it in position and lock it. Then they've got a retainer clip here so that does not ever come off. And we're going to slide that up. And I like to slide it so that the open side or what will be the open side is actually facing down. That way it doesn't just slide off. And that way, when we turn it over, it's all lined up in position. And we're going to do just like we did earlier, just like we talked about. Slide it back in place. And now everything is hooked up. Now I've got to put the batteries in. Everybody knows you've got to have batteries for your remote control. Now, what I like about it is setting things the way that I want. My pressure, I want everything the way I want. Pretty cool. You can actually set your spray strength and your nozzle position in the front and the rear. So, very nice bidet to get rid of toilet paper right here. Men, this is the one for you. See the one with the ladies? This is the one that makes them smile. You've got temperature, you've got pulsation, you have all kinds of cool things. I probably had my bidet toilet seat for two years now. I love it. Let me know if you've ever tried a bidet or a bidet toilet seat. I want to know what you think of it. This is a very easy installation. I'm Roger Wakefield, Elite AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you're not on the bidet.